everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my first update for the Panning Club. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab that was created by Charlotte and it is a rolling project pan and it is based on the movie The Breakfast Club, which I absolutely love that movie. Love it. I watched it like a bazillion times in the 80s and I, I've watched it quite a few times since then, but yeah. This has um, prompts in it, which I will go over in a second, but everyone that has joined in, they're gonna be listed down below in the description box if you wanna go check them out and show them some love. This started on June 1st and will end November 1st. And uh, let's get in to the prompts here. The first one is a brain, which is a smart or multi-purpose product. I chose the Brooklyn Botany Tea Tree Oil. I use this on my skin um, in a variety of ways. I use it in my moisturizer for, you know, cause I, even at my age, your girl gets breakouts. I also put it in um, my foundation. When I franken a foundation, I put it in there. I put it in my shampoo for, um, you know, cause my head gets itchy and it's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful product. And I use it in a variety of ways. So this is my multi-purpose product. And let me show you where I was here at the green and now I'm down here at this like mauve color. So I think that one is gonna be done by the next update. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be done. All right, the next one is The Athlete and it is a product for fast paced days or going to the gym. I of course picked a setting spray because you need this, especially when it's hot and yucky outside. Um, it is the Ulta Matte Setting Spray. It was brand new and I am now here at this mauve line. So not gonna be done by next month, but I should make some good progress on it. The next product is the basket case, and that is a product that is crazy or out of your comfort zone. It is so far out of my comfort zone, I didn't touch it at all this past month. It is this like silvery gray eyeshadow from the Sephora Colorista palette. It is just not my thing. I will use it, I will use it, but it is definitely way far out of my comfort zone. Now I want to wipe it off. I just don't even want it on me. Um, next thing is something else I haven't used because, you know, I'm a busy mom. This is The Princess, and this is a pretty or sparkly product. So I picked these nail art rhinestones. They are pretty and sparkly and pink. What more could you ask for for a princess? Um, to use it maybe I don't know um, and let's see the next one is the criminal and that is a product that makes you feel bad posterior you know um, I'm not gonna say that word I think I said it the first time I think I whispered it but I'm not gonna say it and for me that is fragrance um, it definitely makes me feel a little wild so um, I went I put in the Tommy Hilfiger Tommy girl perfume sample. It is done. I actually really like this. I don't think I had ever smelled it before this sample and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much that I'm going to put another one in. See, this one's the empty one and this is the full one. I'm going to put this one in and um, since it's rolling, I've got to put something else in and it's probably going to be like small sample or deluxe size perfumes and I, that way I'll have something that I can, I know I can finish it every single month. So Rest assured, this is gonna be done by the next update. I do believe the tea tree will be done. Um, if it's not, then it'll be very close, but I should at least have that perfume sample done for you guys. All right, that is it for this painting project. I know it went super quick, but you know, it's, it's a smaller project, which I'm okay with, because I got plenty of really big ones. So, all right, don't forget to check out the ladies down there in the description box. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on the next video, have a beautiful day.